Hello, greetings to everyone. May we all be blessed with fortune and God's grace for today. I would like to introduce myself. I am Geraldine Villamosera, a first year nursing student from La Consolacion College of Manila. And before we start in our discussion, I, I have a short discussion here. And since I have already introduced myself to you, and before we go to our main goal, I will first say what will be the content or kung ano ang matututuhan natin sa video na to today. So, let us go to our main objectives. So, we have three main objectives. First, we will be able to learn what is population growth. Number two, we will be able to learn the importance of population growth and what is the use of it in our daily lives. Number three, and we will be able to learn how to solve or to get a population growth. And for not further ado, let's get started. First one is, what is the population growth? As of 2017, it is estimated that the world population is about 7.6 billion. And our world Leaders, sociologists, and anthropologists are interested in studying population. And mathematics can be used to model population. Recall that the, for the formula for exponential growth is A is equals to PE raised to RT, where A is the size of the population after it grows. P is the initial number of people, R is the rate of growth, and T is time. Recall further that P is ruler's constant with an approximative value of 2.718. Plugging in values P in this formula will result in the population size after time P with a growth rate R. And so, recall lang natin para mas lalo natin malaman and maintindihan kung ano nga ba yung formula natin. So, formula natin is A is equals to PE raised to RT. Ang P is ang um, initial form population. A is the population after T by years, by taon daw. R is the rate of growth. T is time. E is the Euler's constant with a value of 2.718. And, and, Ang tanong is, why do we need to study population growth? So, there are many different sides of population studies. It is a environmentally, population studies assist us to understand human effects on natural resources, the environment, and human health. Understanding these consequences can lead to programs and policies that assist alleviate the negative environment impacts that individuals have. And next is the population growth in daily life. At the same time, how poverty, urban population, energy production, food, water shortages, bad health, and the, and the like are among the results of population growth. And as a result of that, population growth and urban expansion. Okay. Dahil tapos na tayo sa kung ano importance ng population growth, kung ano ang and kung ano ang may tutulong may itutulong or negative effects ito sa daily lives natin. Let's go naman sa example. So, our question is, the exponent, exponential growth model A is equals to 50E raised to 0.07T describes the population of a city in the Philippines in thousands T years after 1997. Let, letter A, what is the population after 20 years? And letter B, what is the population in 2037? Okay, let's talk about, first let's talk about the letter A. So what are the given in letter A? Our formula na gagamitin natin is A is equals to PE raised to RT in 1997. Ang P natin ay, ay 50. 
E is 2.718, R is 0 0.07, at T, I, ayun yung nawawala. So, hanapin natin yung T. So, let's go. Dahil nalaman na natin kung ano ang gagamitin nating formula, i-distribute na natin yung mga nakuha, na, mga nakuha nating given. So, A is equals to 50E raised to 0.07T in 1997. Since ang hinahanap sa letter A ay A after 20 years, ayun yung hanap na. So, dahil sinabi naman na dyan kung ano ang time natin, which is yung 20 years, ayun na yung ilalagay natin. So, i-distribute lang ulit natin siya uh, at magiging A is equal sa 50E raised to 0.07 times 20. At ikakalculator lang natin siya, ilalagay natin sa calculator. Any kind of calculator, pwede rin namang scientific or yung normal lang na calculator. Then, kapag nalagay na natin ito, ang lalabas na sagot ay 202.75 or approximately 203,000. Okay. So, let's go naman sa letter B. What are the given in letter B? So, ayun pa rin po yung formula natin. A is equals to PE raised to RT in 1997. Ang P natin ay 50. E naman ay 2.718. Ang R natin ay 0 0.07. At ang P natin ay nawawala nahanapin natin ang T. Okay. Sa solution, ganun pa rin po ang formula. I-distribute pa, pa rin natin. So, magiging 50E raised to 0.07T in 1997. At ang hinahanap naman sa B ay A at 2037. At dahil hindi na banggit yung T, kailangan natin hanapin yung time natin. So, to solve for a T, kindly subtract 2037 to 1997. So, magiging 2037 minus 1997 is equals to 40. Therefore, 40 po ang time natin. So, siya yung gagamitin natin. So, i-distribute lang ulit natin sila at magiging 50E raised to 0 0.07 times 40. At ikakalculator lang po ulit natin sila. At ulit, again, any kind of calculator po ay pwede. At, at kapag nakopya na po natin sila sa calculator, ay, ay ang lalabas na sagot ay 822.23 or approximately 822,000. So, ayun lang po for today. I hope you learned something and something and that's all thank you